Hi, this is John Paul Hutchins, chef instructor with Le Cordon Bleu North America, and today we're going to be dressing up vegetarian. Now, everybody thinks that vegetarian is kind of bland or it's pasta with vegetables, but today we're really going to boost it up a bit. We're going to give an Asian flair to it, and the way we're going to do that is by pickling some vegetables. So what we did was we took some beautiful thinly cut vegetables. Um, I used some carrots in here. I used some shiitake mushrooms. Um, some of them we cooked up a little bit, and then we made a pickling uh, mixture, which was essentially vinegar, sugar, salt, and some other flavors that we wanted to add to it. So if I want to go Asian, I can add a little bit of ginger, I can add a little garlic. Really, I'm, I'm unlimited as far as my potential and flavors. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dress it up just a little bit with some ponzu sauce, which is phenomenal. It's soy and yuzu, and I'm going to add a little bit of sesame oil to it also. I'm going to mix that up and just let that sit. And that's going to develop even more flavor. Pickling is something you can do at home. It's just so incredibly simple and so incredibly flavorful classic technique, modern applications. Now this is something that's very interesting. I'm taking rice paper and I'm dipping it in water that's warm to the touch. It's not boiling, um, but I threw a flame under it just to kind of take the chill out. I'm going to put it in there for just a second and I'm going to pull it out. That's just about, what, five, ten seconds is really all it takes just to soften it up. Now the fun part. I'm going to take some beautiful basil Put down a leaf there. Oh, I'm going to put down a leaf here. And I'm going to take a chive. Let me just take a half a chive there. And I'm going to put that down either side. And then I'm going to take my beautiful mixture, squeeze out the excess. And you know what? I'm going to throw in some pepper dew peppers just to add a little bit of fire to it, a little bit of heat, a little bit of interest. And look at that beautiful color. Look at the way that pops up for me. Squeeze that out. I'm just going to lay that in there. And I'm going to wrap this up just like a spring roll. So I've got all that flavor just bursting in there. I'm going to fold that side over. I'm going to fold this edge over. This edge over, just like a little envelope. Spring roll or almost rolling it like a burrito. And then there are my beautiful leaves. I'm going to place that in the middle of my plate. Look at how beautiful it is. See the basil leaves right there? Absolutely gorgeous. And over here, I made some uh, pickled cauliflower. And that was simple also. I just used a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of curry to just juice that up a little bit. And I'm going to set that around. Let's do three over here. Let's do three over here. Just real simply. Same premise. Totally different outcome by just shifting one ingredient and changes the flavor profile completely. Then over here I have some beautiful onions. Look at that. I'm going to put a couple here. And these I've roasted off. So these are going to give me some depth and a little more, a little more flavor. Because of that caramelization in there, it's going to add some interest. So the dish won't taste quite so light and bright with all that vinegar in there. I've got that caramelization. And then I'm going to take the vinegar that I use, and this is the best part of classic French technique. It's called dovetailing. So I'm using the vinegar that I used to make the cauliflower with, and I'm going to turn that into a vinaigrette by just drizzling in a little bit of grapeseed oil. Creating a semi-permanent emulsion. So if you're familiar with salad dressing at home, you shake it up, it's together. About 10 or 15 minutes later, it'll separate. Same thing. But I will tell you right now, this is better than any salad dressing you're going to have at home. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of that on the plate. Just to give it a little bit of pop, a little bit of interest. Well, here we go our finished dish. It looks beautiful. It's got incredible flavor, incredible aroma for a cold dish. This is a vegetarian dish that would make a meat eater happy. It's got everything. It's got those pickled vegetables. Remember, you can do this at home so simply. It's just vinegar. It's just sugar. It's just salt. And then go crazy with your flavors. Uh, thinly cut vegetables, but mix and match. This is how Le Cordon Bleu does vegetarian.